Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we have an unboxing video for you. I have the uh, Sony's PlayStation Classic Mini. This is the competition to uh, Nintendo's, these guys here, the Nintendo Mini and the uh, Super Nintendo Mini. So I uh, figured I'd unbox it here on the channel. And just looking at it, the uh, cover looks pretty much like the original cover did back in like 96 or 97 when the original one came out. Black top, still sealed. The sides. Are you ready to play? It comes with 20 preloaded games, and I know a lot of people didn't like the games that came on here. I'm not a big critic, so, you know, I'm going to play it regardless. But people were complaining about the emulation on here, saying, like, like Tekken 3 is a real, real slow compared to uh, the original PlayStation game, but... Yeah, I don't really complain about that. I figure if you want to play an original PlayStation with the discs, you need to get an original PlayStation with the discs, because nothing's going to substitute quite the same. So, uh, let's cut this baby open and uh, check it out. That's a weird way. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so there we go. I got it unboxed. I got it out of the big box. Almost destroyed this box getting it out. It was such a tight fit. And that looks pretty nice. A little PlayStation logo right there. And it's in another, another white box. So you'll have to forgive my... Uh, Voice, if my voice sounds funky, I have been sick lately. Am I gonna get it out of this one? Ooh. And I did look at that. That is pretty cool looking. That looks just like the original PlayStation. Look at that. Okay, your HDMI and a USB in the back. It's a weird design for Alright, so here we go. We got the uh, PlayStation. Got a reset button, power button, and the open button, which clearly doesn't work. Otherwise, this would open up. It looks just like the original PlayStation 1, all the way down to the memory card slots, which also don't work. They're just cosmetic. Bottom looks the same. And then compared to a uh, these two things, they're all really relatively the same size, which I think, I think this is even the same size, like size comparison wise, I think that they're all the same, but, anyway, so you got this thing, which is pretty cool looking, got the one regular PS1 controller, doesn't have the dual shock thing, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to put up with just the directional button, you got your square, Triangle, circle, left one, R2, left two, and you get two controllers, which is pretty nice. And then USB to micro USB, and then the HDMI, and they say there's no power, no AC adapter included, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to include one of those. But, uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool anyway, so let's, uh, Go on to the next part of this and do a review, so let's uh, check out a few games. Okay, so I've just powered it on, and uh, we're going to check out some games here. See, English. Okay. See, 
Warning settings menu. Okay. And here we are. We got Battle Arena to Shinden. Cool Borders 2. Destruction Derby. Final Fantasy 7. That's a popular one. The original Grand Theft Auto. Intelligent Cube. Jumping Flash. Metal Gear. Odd World. Rayman. Resident Evil Director's Cut. We'll check that one out. Maybe. Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter. Siphon Filter. Tekken 3. Rainbow Six. Twisted Metal. That one was a favorite. And Wild Arms. I'll check out. Now yeah, let's check out Twisted Metal. I vaguely remember this game. Classics PlayStation logo. Alright, well, this is kind of cool. Definitely brings back memories. Twisted Metal. It's been many a year since I've played this. The graphics definitely don't stand the test of time like the uh, the U on Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Graphics, I hate to say it, and they're kind of bad. But the game was fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to relearn how to play all these games. One more game on here. I want to check out the original Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, again, I don't, not. I don't think there's anything too bad about these. You know, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm not the ultimate gamer that everything's got to be perfect and. If it's got to be perfect, it needs to be on the perfect system. And these these are definitely just for casual gamers that just want to, you know, chill out and play a game from the past every now and again. Or they're not for the uh, your serious gamer. But they are fun. Is it worth the money? I would say not $100. I got this for $50 at Walmart. It was $100 a few weeks ago. $50 when I went back just tonight. So I was like, ah, for 50 bucks, I'll, I'll pick one up. Don't imagine I'll be playing the hell out of it, but it's definitely something that's cool to have. Liberty City. Wow, that takes forever to load, too. It's a top loader. Wow, how do I move around? Oh, moving is hard. Oh my god, this is hard. Oh my god, this is primitive Grand Theft Auto, alright. It's not the Grand Theft Auto we play today. Oh man, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well anyway, I think we're going to end the video here. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you later.